winning. No gunshots, but they getting low, 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 getting. Hey, what's up, you guys? Craft Farms here, back again with yet another video of American Truck Simulator. In today's video, we're gonna get started by picking another load. Uh, I think that we'll start in Hallbrook, where we last left off in the last video. Um, and we'll take some office supplies from Hallbrook, Arizona to Nadali's, Arizona for $4,173 is a 378 mile trip. That's a pretty neat picture there. All right, let's get our truck fired up here. Let's take a look at our load. A couple guys maybe taking a break. Looking at the railroad tracks. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Okay. Oops, wrong button. I meant to take off the parking brake. Okay, we're gonna get our dash display set to our speed. We are ready to rock. We're gonna bring up that mirror. So we are running the uh, Kenworth. Oh, what the heck is it? What truck are we using? Hmm. <laughs> I did not even look. Uh, it's the Kenworth. Maybe W900 or something. Anyhow, uh, this is a really, really nice truck. I enjoy driving this. Uh, this is my second load with this truck. Uh, the first time I used this truck, it was in a day cab version. And uh, yeah, really, really nice truck. Uh, it has a really, really nice Jake brake sound as well. Um, I really, really like that. So we will go ahead and uh, get this hauled out. Shouldn't take too terribly long. Doesn't take long to go uh, 300 miles in ATS, that's for sure. Try not to take out that other car, or the semi, or the guardrail. None of which would be very, very pleasant. This is kind of set up weird, huh? I've got to be down there, yet I'm up here definitely set up weird I definitely cannot see very much out of that mirror because of the stack positioning good this one is higher than a 10 the other time when I ran the Kenworth it was also in red and it was only a 10 speed Ooh, way too hot coming into that corner Yeah, if you guys did not already watch the uh, previous episode, make sure to go check that out. Uh, I'd say I'd put the link down below, but uh, by the time that one's, by the time I'm uploading this one, that one probably won't be uploaded fully already. You never know, I guess. Um, yeah, make sure to check out the uh, other ATS video. Uh, that one we hauled a load of fertilizer from Phoenix to Hallbrook. So now we are heading out of Hallbrook. And uh, heading south, I believe. Yeah, we're heading down south. Uh, we gotta go through Tucson down to Nagali's. We gotta go through Tucson and Sholo and Hallbrook, obviously, which is where we are supposedly starting from, although we are not in Hallbrook.
Go ahead and just set the parking brake, I guess. Otherwise, we will majorly lose air pressure. Go, car. Thirty-five is the speed limit. So we'll try and stay at that or under. Not get any speeding tickets. Got a car dealership there, looks like. I think uh, you're gonna see how long this video takes. Um, actually, yeah, I'm gonna record one more ATS video, um, and then either one or two more ATS videos, and then I'll do like I'll either have three or four uh, ATS videos, and then three or four, uh, well, two or three. Um, farm sim videos in game and then um, then I will also have like maybe two or so um, in Giants Editor uh, as I had mentioned in the previous video uh, I'm going to be working on converting some FS17 map objects down to uh, 15 no train, I hope. Nope. It's actually only the second time I've ever gone across railroad tracks in this game. I've never seen a train once. <clears throat> yeah, so I'm gonna try and space it so like you have a ATS farm sim or giants editor ats farm sim or giants editor you know and so on uh for this week at least um so we'll see <clears throat> i think maybe what i'll do is yeah i got the idea now uh do four ats videos so one monday one wednesday one friday and one Sunday and then Tuesday and Thursday will be or Tuesday and Saturday will be farm sim in game and then um, uh, and then it would be Thursday will be um, the Giants editor video so I'm going to record pretty much all of them today um, and then start getting them, you know, start working on getting them edited and uh, ready for upload. Go ahead and just set our cruise, I guess. The motors deal. Hmm. Green light tea and coffee. Car zone, which would be auto zone. See, I don't have any of my mods activated on this account yet. Uh, I'm probably just going to wait with the mods for a while and if I add anything it'll just be a few trailers uh, a few trailer mods that'll be it 
we'll go ahead and set the parking brake again because as I said before that's about the easiest thing easiest way to stop and then I'll have to use up a bunch of air pressure uh, otherwise I'll be stuck at the light trying to build air pressure that's like the other day I was driving and um, I accidentally put my pickup into third gear sitting at a light uh, I didn't get the stick over far enough to go into first and tried starting out and I killed it on the hill uh, I was on a hill too uphill so I had a quick try and start it back up and get it into first and go before light turned red or anything and definitely was uh, not fun Ooh, I am really speeding. Never mind, not doing that. <laughs> Didn't see that that ended there. That would not have been good. So we've got uh, 258 miles to go, about six hours and 40 minutes. Should be there about Tuesday at five or so, it's saying at this moment. And they want it uh, no later than uh, 9.30. Uh, we'll just round it to 9.30 uh, Tuesday night. Tonight. And they, uh, they're not expecting it there. Any, you know, can surprise them and be there earlier than 2. But I don't think that we will. Whoa. This is an area I definitely want to keep the Jake brake on. Holy smokes, look at all these curves. This is not gonna be fun, that's for sure. So we should be there about close to five or so. Four or five o'clock. Right. Definitely can't wait to be hauling outside of Arizona. <laughs> um Arizona has a lot of uh, hills that I've found so far. Hills with curves and windy roads and all sorts of that kind of junk. I don't know, you know if Arizona in real life has a lot of these kind of roads or not, but I personally have never been to Arizona. So I would not have an Id any idea That's a heck of a place to put a rest stop, right at the bottom of the hill. turn our flashers on because we'll be going pretty slow up this hill. There's a pretty big one here. I know when I was in Idaho, the trucks, whenever they drove on the mountains, they always had their flashers on, so 
guess that's what we'll do. It's nice that there's no cars coming, and then kind of turn as wide as I need to. Not gonna be like the guy in front of me taking his tur turns nice and tight. Of course, it's uh, AI controlled, so it has its designated path. Alright, we are free of the major wines. We have a few more somewhat large ones coming up. Ooh, probably should shift. These ones coming up, though, they seem to be a little bit larger or wider of turns, so no biggie there. Come up here to stop sign, I'm assuming. That's what it will be. Yep. So we need to take a left up here. Funny, our blinker is kind of in time with the truck in front. At least the ticking sound. So we need to hang a right up here. And away we go. Turn on the Jake brake again, just in case. Not going to need it, thankfully. Got to build up some speed for this next hill. Although it's not too steep. It's kind of a gradual up. Definitely glad I turned that on there. That could have ended horribly. Ugh. Coming up on town, and we have to turn up here, so I'll put the trailer brake on as well, so that way we really start slowing down. Hey, I'm slowing down. Relax there, copper. Let's 
go ahead and check our mail, see what that says. Account is overdrawn. Oh, I suppose because of the speeding ticket. Um, let's take out 20,000. Just kind of give us fuel money and that kind of stuff. Fuel, ticket money, whatever we need. left up here only got 72 miles left to go to our destination Wow, that was a close one. That truck was right there. That could have also ended horribly wrong. Yeah, to move over into the next lane. Playing this game definitely makes me wish that I still had, or still used, well, kind of still had my G27. I still have it, it's just at my dad's. You know, playing this game, the G27 was really nice, but playing Farm Sim, it wasn't as nice as the SciTech is. So, they're both, you know, nice for a certain game, but, you know, I don't really, I haven't played ATS enough to, you know, even consider bringing it here but really the side tech is working you know the only reason that the g27 would really be nice is because of the shifter which i i'm pretty sure that would actually work with the side tech wheel i would have to check that maybe that'd be something worth uh checking out you know seeing uh, what the pit pedals and uh you know not having the wheel itself just some of the parts seeing if that would work I will have to uh, look into that I think because I would definitely make this game you know the wheel the SciTech wheel is just fine just you know not having the actual shifter kind of makes it suck but it is what it is I don't believe that we have too much farther to go. Oh no, we are in town actually. So actually it is just up here somewhere. Right here. <laughs> I was just about to miss it. That would have not been good. Where do you need it? Around back? Sounds good to me. Sorry there, car. I'll get out of your way here in a second. Try not to hit anything going in here. Alright. So we'll go ahead and uh, drive around back here. Oop. Kind of scratched the truck there. Maybe took out a light. Okay, we can shut our GPS off now. 
Oof, I really should have gone the other way. Because this is not going to be fun this way. Let's see, how can I do this now? Let's go ahead and back into one of these spots, maybe, if we can. So if I can do that and get turned around... Maybe not. Hmm. We get it figured out. Get some way figured out here in the end. I should have probably gotten in one of the other spots. And it would probably work a whole lot better. Because I don't have a whole lot of room right here. We'll go ahead and try and jackknife it into one of these spots here. Uh, let's just do this the easy way here. We'll drive around again and then... Uh, we will take a right and just kind of swing into that yard there. Just so we can get turned around. No cars coming. Nope. Not close enough to get to these. Oh, I just hit something. Must be a wall here that you can't get by or something that And it was wide open before. Alright, we're good to go now. I was focusing more on the trailer than the truck there. This is definitely a tight area to get into. Alright. There we go. Now we're all lined up a lot better. Ooh. Man. Trying to avoid that. As you can see, that did not work. Okay, so we're going to kind of jackknife it in there a little bit. And we'll try not to hit this fence again. To it. Woo. Did not realize that barrier was on that side as well. Well, wow. this was definitely not one of my best parking jobs. Okay, if they say that's good enough, that's good enough. Alright guys, that's going to do it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Make sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Make sure to check out down below in the description for links to my social medias. 
my mod site, as well as my PC specs, and also my upload schedule, which I am going to be trying to get back into very soon. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.